these are the hands of samurai blue or the indigo dying. Look at those fingernails. This is awesome. So the question is, why is blue part of Japan's national colors? And it's because of this. This is Watanabe-san coming all the way from Tokushima. And inside here is indigo. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about Japan's... Wow! That is deep blue. Look at that. This is cool. I'm at Allbirds store here in uh, Modern Uchi in Tokyo, Japan, and I'm going to be dyeing a pair of shoes blue, kind of recycling it, giving it a second life. Uh, but I, I, you know, one of the things that I, I learned about when researching this was that blue is one of the national colors of Japan. You see it in the national team of Japan. You can see right here, they're wearing what's called samurai blue. And the color kachi is, it, it's a, it actually means to win. So a lot of samurai, and we're going all the way back to the Sengoku period, would have this color uh, and they would wear it in a battle because they would want to win. And of course we have the Hinomaru, which is the blue and the uh, white and the red of the Japanese flag. But maybe it should have been blue. Maybe it should have been blue. So at this, epi this uh, event, this event is going to be taking place, and I'm going to get a chance with my, my buddy Dean here, who was in an episode where we actually bought the shoes, right? You remember, Dean? It wasn't too long ago. It wasn't too long ago that you and I, oh, you and I were here in this shop. This is about a month ago. We bought the uh, white, the whitest of white shoes, which is great. Um, maybe the most comfortable shoes that I've worn in a long time, because I, I don't know, there's just some, some kind of cushioning that was different than the other shoes, like I was walking on, on pillows. And they're so light, right? Yeah! That was another thing, they were so light, and the material was somewhat waterproof. I guess it's wool that they're using? Yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah, and we, we all know that ANA, the airline, has blue, and that blue could be very much like the samurai blue. Here's the process that Watanabe-san uses in the, in the buckets. This is what we're going to be doing today, taking old shoes and giving them a second life in the color of Japan, which is this indigo color. Now, according to Watanabe-san, this is the before and after. This is what's going to happen to my shoes. We're going to show you the shoes right now. Oh, and this is, this is the, that day last month where we walked to Akihabara from Ginza to try to mess them up. It, was, it wasn't a very nice day. It was a very cold and rainy day. Indeed. And look how white that they are. They look really white. And now, they're still kind of white. They There's a couple, of, a couple of scuff marks here. I did wear them for a month on and off, but I found that with white shoes, you kind of tend to not get them dirty. You could have played a few more games of soccer in these, couldn't you? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, probably. Uh, this is also an event that Allbirds holds, I guess, twice a year. The next time is going to be in the fall. But they do this, I think, because it's part of their brand's image, sustainability, where they want to to sh show all of the materials used in it is something that is sustainable uh, for the environment, which is something that's important. I think that's a really great thing. And I hadn't heard about this brand before, which I was surprised. And you can see that they're really expanding here in Japan. They have three shops, one in uh, uh, here in Maranouchi, another one in Harajuku, and another one in, in Osaka's um, Umeda, which is really, really good. And a lot of people are coming and, and buying the shoes here in Japan. I guess they have some Japan-specific stuff as well. Or you, you get here and you realize you're going to be walking every single day, right, as you try to explore Japan. Sure. And you think, hang on a minute, I want comfy shoes. So. Oh, this is what it's going to look like at the end. OK. Oh, we're going to start the event here. Thank <laughs> <laughs> we have permission to film here, so it's going to be fun to share uh, everybody's journey with you here. 
Uh, they're going to be introducing this in Japanese. I'll show you a little bit of it, but I also want to show you. Um, I'm just going to step over here for a second. So I, I also went to Tokushima um, about six years ago, where I got a chance to experience the uh, indigo dyeing, which is a very historical part. They've been doing this since the Sengoku period, like six centuries ago. And you can see here, I look a lot younger too, by the way. This is 2016, I believe. And the thing with indigo dyeing is that, well, I, I'm wearing gloves here, but if you don't, you get it in your fingernails and everything. And I, I think I'm going to go gloveless. And this is what we're going to be doing today. Um, this is in Tokushima, where the heart of it. Uh, they, they've been, do, I, th I think this was at the museum, but they've been doing it at this place for, I think they said like 400 years, which is pretty crazy. And the longer you keep it into the indigo dye, the, the darker and darker it gets. So you can control the color, but one of the things um, which is hard for independent makers is they can't hit an exact color sometimes, not for if you, you want to make a bunch of products, but that's part of the characteristic of it, I think. Yeah, there I am. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm hard at work. Those are sunglasses, by the way. <laughs> they would ask it. And there's the process being done here, and the final results uh, drying in the wind. It looks almost like tie dye. I guess you can do it for different styles. Um, but this is a great way to turn, and this is the historical way to do it, but this is a great way to turn old things new again. And if you're wearing shoes, and you, they're white and you kind of feel a little shy about wearing dirty shoes around, you can dye them and give them a second life. Use them as slippers, right? Or you can do a, a bunch of things with your shoes that you didn't think about before. And I thought this was a really cool event that they're putting on here. And then here I am. Um, Japan's denim industry is also based right next to Tokushima in Okayama and you can get some of the best jeans in the world here in Japan. Again, the dye coming from uh, Tokushima and one of the things that uh, Watanabe, you see that right there? I think they call it Tsukumo. That's the ingredients to make uh, the indigo and they're going to demystify this for us. His so-called secret recipe, right? Yeah, they said they showed me the secret recipe, so I don't, I don't know if it's secret. Can I tell? <laughs> it won't be secret for much longer. Well, it's, it's in, it's in, a, it's in that book right there, the secrets. So I mean, I guess it's not that protected, but maybe something I want to show. This is cool. So what do you guys think about this? This used to be white, like my shoes, and they gave it a second life. It looks kind of cool. I think this is a, a pretty cool idea. And it also supports the local artisans, because I know that um, as, as I travel around Japan, a lot of the craftspeople uh, the crafts that have been going on for centuries are starting to die out because there's just not enough people to replace the, the masters that have been doing this for hundreds of years. And here's Watanabe-san. Now they're opening it up for the audience here. And you can smell it too. Uh, the indigo has a kind of a strong pungent smell, but it's not, yeah, but it's not unpleasant. It's just strong. I think you get used to it pretty quick being in here. It's a pretty neat color. Uh, here's, here's the Tsukumo here. So tsukumo, this is an important part of, of uh, the dyeing here. What they've done is been able to take the indigo and put it into a powder. Or it's, it's kind of like, um, 
I don't know, it, it, they're able to transport it more easily, so it becomes a commodity like rice. And uh, so Dean's putting this down here. I want to show you the process, which is fascinating. What, one thing I think which is great with Watanabe-san is he's, he's actually doing it from the farm all the way to the final product. And you can see here, he's, he's preparing the fields and then growing what is the indigo plant as it, as it, as it uh, grows. And there's a story behind this here, which I think is fascinating. And then here they are, they're, t they're fermenting it. You can see the steam coming from the fermentation and then it's used to die during the fall and the winter. But they harvest it in July, which is before the typhoon season. And that's really important because he was saying how the rivers overflow during the typhoon season. So you can't really plant rice because the rice would be ruined because of all the typhoons that Shikoku gets. So you could use, you could use indigo, which became a more viable option for that area of Japan, which is why Tokushima is the, the heart of the indigo growing region. I thought that, that history and background was really fascinating. And here they're talking about the process. Yeah. In a moment we'll, we'll grab the jars of the different ingredients and you'll be able to see. Oh right, yeah, that's Sukumo, which is uh, like he said that in the olden days when they didn't have rice, they would just trade the indigo for rice from other areas of Japan because everybody across Japan needed the Tsukumo to be able to dye their there's uh, armor and the and the fabric for the samurai armor because without having that blue you didn't have wind which is the, the kachi yeah. the kachi blue which is what it was called. Ah, here's the skumo. That looks like a like a dried blackberry or s something from the farm. Yeah, hold it still for a second. Zoom in on it. Here. Yeah. Interesting. So it doesn't have much smell to it, but this is a commodity, meaning when you put this into water, it turns into the indigo dye, and they didn't, Tokushima had perfected how to do this. So it, it, it made them a real powerhouse in the dyeing industry, which was huge until, you know, now you can get this uh, done a lot cheaper uh, in other places, but it's, it's certainly not the same quality. Like the big manufacturers want to, that, and that's another thing, with the big manufacturers, um, the labels, you have to have the same color of blue. And for independent makers like Watanabe-san, it's very hard to do a consistent blue color that a, a manufacturer would want. So it's hard to get business these days in that sense, which is another reason why I'm really happy to see that Allbirds is working with a local producer from Tokushima in an art, a traditional craft of Japan um, that definitely, I think, it needs more attention onto it. And uh, here we go, here's some other. Oh, that's the hapa. Oh wow! So, so it starts off, it starts yeah, off like this, yeah. and they harvest it. Yeah, and they harvest it. And if you put the water, then it ferments it. You know, then temperature lights it up, you know, and then they each other. Then they can wow. Oh, that's interesting. And this is the ash. Yeah. Uh, the seashells. Uh, Oh, right. So these are the ingredients used for it. The sugar, which creates the fermentation for it. All natural ingredients. It's interesting, they use the seashells, which they have tons of out there on the, on the coast. Oh, it's fascinating. And what's that he's holding in his hand? I guess this is the... Uh, Another one of the catalysts, I think. Water with ash from the, from the tree, and that's causing that discoloration of the waters. So uh, the of the the, that, that ash is also one of the catalysts. Without that, you wouldn't be able to get the, the color to come out of the leaves. It really is fascinating, isn't it? 
Um, so the shoe that I got, I believe, is, is that one right there. But inside the shop, you can see they've got a pretty good lineup of, of shoes here. And it's outside. I'm going to talk about this street, and, and there's actually a reason why this store exists on this street, isn't there? There's always a reason there, there's something behind it. But I, I'm kind of worried because I have such nice, normal hands. For now. <laughs> I gotta cut that fingernail. <laughs> this is what it looks like before and after we can do <laughs> shot. They do have gloves, but that, that would destroy the fun. I don't know, would you wear the gloves? Or would you just go right in? I should have I should have brought some jeans or actually this t-shirt I could I'm wearing could, could go in there but for this this event this time they're only allowing um, the shoes to be dyed so if you have a pair of old if you have a pair of old shoes that you want to dye you can bring them here and, and that's what everybody has today uh, pairs of old shoes so uh, I think those are going to be changed into a different color. <laughs> Ramsey Silent, I would go right in. I wonder if the Blue Man group actually would just jump in here and then they could be blue for the, an, entire, uh, an entire week. <laughs> Michael Sasano, how dare you? <laughs> I would not dye my hat. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I could dye my hat. Um, blue. Actually, that's a great idea. I should have brought my hat. All right, I, uh, that's a great idea. I've got an old hat that definitely needs to be um, redyed. So, turning it into an indigo blue would be really good. So he's explaining now the different colors. So I, I can tell you there are forty-eight. According to Watanabe-san, there are 48 different shades that come from dyeing, and I'm sure there's even more in between there, but that are, have been identified. So, so when it comes to the um, uh, dye, I mean, you could probably ask, please dye it in one of these shades, and they'll try their best, but it, it's not a perfect science, meaning it, it all has character to it. You're all getting like an original kind of shade. I think this is interesting. Inside the store, they show they show the process, how they want to run the company here, how how it comes from sustainability. I think one of the co-founders is from New Zealand, and it's all processed in a way um, that it's sustainable. And I love this kind of art with all the detail. When I was a kid, I used to look at the uh, lowly worm, Richard Scarry stuff, and this looks like. Something Richard Scarry would have have uh, conjured up. I guess it's in that kind of style where you have all these little people and details and and uh, to tell the story of uh, the Allbirds. I guess they're putting wool in here to make the shoes because they use all, uh, wool for the material, which is uh, and here are the founders. I guess hanging out. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Wait, what is this? Seriously, I would want to work here if they had a slide like this. When I was a kid, that was my dream. I said, if I build a house, I want a fireman's pole in there. <laughs> Why take the stairs when you can just go by fireman's pole? Should I get my shoes here? All right, let me get my shoes here. They're too white. <laughs> These are going to be getting a second life. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. So Watanabe-san told us about uh, the indigo colors. I wonder what orange and blue makes what? 
だから駅の中ではこの発行金が変化させてくれた液体をしっかりと靴に染み込ませてほしいのでまず靴を。He's doing it. I get water into it, get all the、uh, air out of it, and get the water because the air could, the bubbles could.、Um, Daniel writes in here, it'll be brown. Interesting. We're going to find out. Now, they said that the blue color only stays for a day. I don't know. I'm not sure whether or not to believe them. And、they told me that the blue color stays for just one day, but the nails might be about two weeks. I don't know. Yeah, do a quick, quick cleaning. Everybody's taking the, the shoelaces out. ラストの時は逆にあのしっかりこうやって液をこう押し絞るような感じあの靴の形が変わらない程度にしっかり絞ってもくださいで絞ることで水気が抜けて酸素が入りやすいので次は酸素に触れてあのインディゴ要はあの青色の色素にまた Can you help me with the shoelace? <laughs> you want to take, take them out? Yeah, I think everybody took it out now Yeah, otherwise, you get that nice contrast, right? Oh, yeah. That might be nice to see. Yeah. I kind of like that. It has a story, right? When it's done in a, in a traditional Japanese dyeing technique. But it's fascinating how, how this blue is actually one of the national colors going back to the Sengoku period. I guess it'd be like this color. Which is a, you know, in samurai, it also hides the blood pretty well. <laughs> If you're wearing a natural, natural white, that's not too good in battle. That's a yeah, good group of people here. If someone wants to try this, they either have to look out on their trip and come at exactly the right time. Right.、So、be, they're doing it again in the autumn. Right. There's a possibility of this. Oh, just go to Tokushima. Tokushima. Yeah. It just costs a little bit more. I, I, yeah, just, I think it was、uh, 3,500 yen. Which is like half price.、So、yeah, which is like, like 20, bu 20 bucks to do this, and you can bring your own stuff to do it. But yeah, if you were to do it in Tokyo without it, I think it would cost a lot more. But if you go to Tokushima, there's so many places that do this, it is much, much cheaper. A reason to go to Tokushima, bring some old clothes with you to dye it. That would be part of the trip, right? Because then you'd have something completely original. Right. I'm very Japanese. I, I think that's, that's so cool. So go to Tokushima. That'd be a reason to go to Tokushima. Bring, bring old clothes, white clothes, or any. I guess you could do orange as well. And then you could turn them into something new, into samurai blue, which is Japan. Tachi、yeah. Japan. All right, we're ready to go. My size, my size 28.5. Yeah, 28.5 is a 10 and a half. Ah, the insoles. Yeah. Oh, they're yellow. I didn't even know. I, I didn't take the insoles out. That's nice. So, so much padding. So soft. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's a sticker on here. Okay. Okay. 
All right, they're gonna do theirs. Let, let, let's see what they do because there's only there's four of them. So let's let's let them do. So these shoes are their present. Their their soul is about to become <laughs> blue. <laughs> Literally. Almost everybody's elected to go with gloves. There's a couple in there, non-glove, non-glovers. Oh wow. 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 Those shoes are deep in there. About 90 seconds. Oh, you can see the glove. The gloves turn blue. Wow. Let's pan over here. <laughs> he asks, is the smell okay? And no problem. After one minute. Wow. That's a really nice looking color, blue. My son Leo is going to ask, what happened to your hands, daddy? I said, I dyed them. Indigo. ヘルシーだから。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。ヘルシー。
This is gonna look good with jeans. Or, or, or does it clash? No, dude, you, in you jeans. Can, you can watch you can wear these sneakers with Oh, really? Anything, right? I was like one of those kids in the 80s. I wore like the jean shirt with the jean, with jeans and a belt, and ah, you double, look like a cowboy. Yeah. You had double yeah. denim. There, I'm you, still doing double denim. Uh, you are not. Yeah, I am. Oh, gosh. <laughs> The denims would be, I'd have like a light denim shirt and a dark <laughs> denim jeans. <laughs> Nobody would make fun of you in the 80s, but nowadays I think they get all over you for that. <laughs> and, the, and the laces are getting dyed here, so. A very, a very quick dye, so, so it's, it's going to turn into a light blue. Wow! Wow! Those are blue. Why am I shocked? <laughs> I knew that this guy. <laughs> it's just because we saw the before and after now. We've lived through it. It's quite an extraordinary uh, difference. These shoes, these brand new, well, I wore them for a month on and off, but these are going to turn into something else. This is crazy. I don't even know why. I didn't. I just didn't expect it. I guess when you see them going in white and coming out n not white, they look bright. They do look good. Oh wow, they look really good. The way that the plastic has taken on some of the dye. That's really cool. Oh yeah. Also, your sneakers. You're gonna have contrast in between the wool and the sole, right? So these are these are white shoes, right? They, they were white, yeah. So wearing Brand that, new white they, shoes. Has the wool. So this, this material on, on here, yours will come up. Oh wow, okay. The sole won't, I think. Yeah. So you'll get like a two-tone effect. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I like that. If it gets a two-tone, that's kind of yeah, cool. Like oh yeah, yeah. Now this the smell is quite strong. It does it does smell because uh, it has been fermented. But uh, I mean it's not it. I'm already used to it already. But I remember when I walked into Tokushima, it was pretty powerful. Um, it's a strong smell, but it, it's not you know it's not bad. It's it's just not good. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You wouldn't put this on, on your body as an after lotion, after after shave or something. Right, I, I agree with you though. It's not so unpleasant. But I guess you know, since you don't have smell of vision yet, you got to kind of understand um, the dye is has a, has an odor to it. Oh, next. Last. Alright, one more time. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be an hour stream, huh? <laughs> this is a part of it. Don't worry, I'm going to put chapter markers. If you're watching this in playback, you, you can skip around to just to the end and, and see what the final resor results are. But I'll put some chapter markers in here so you can skip around. It's fascinating though for me. This is uh, such a traditional Japanese thing to do, the indigo dyeing, um, the color. Uh, there's about 40, there, there's an actual color called kachi blue. The kachi means win in Japan. So that's why samurai would dye their, their um, clothes this dark blue color. I guess it's something like a midnight blue. Um, and they would wear that into battle and it would be something, a color to frighten them. And then I think it was, that was really interesting tidbits. We were talking with Watarabi-san and the uh, um, Japanese national soccer team wasn't really winning, right? Yes. Right? right? Is that what we say? Up until the 90s, yeah. Right, until the 90s. And then they changed the color yeah, to so kachi blue, samurai blue, they call it. And then they started winning. They started winning. So they, they were wearing a red, like red and white. 
unions right. up until then, right? Oh yeah, I remember that back in the back in the eighties. I think the U.S. had a um, World Cup. Japan wasn't in the World Cup, I think, because they couldn't qualify. But the Pele years, they weren't wearing the samurai blue yet. But now we're doing them. Um, interesting. All right. Old school meets new age. I think is now trendy. I wouldn't say trendy. I think it's it's um, a desire to try to move away from uh, processes that aren't really helping the world. I, th I I think, and that's you know, there's no matter what other what side you are on this issue, it's always good to go back to things that are organic and natural. And this is something I think is very much so. And I, I have to commend. Uh, Allbirds for doing something like this. I don't know another company that is, is performing indigo, save a, a foreign, a, a non Japanese brand, um, promoting and almost save, like helping to, to uh, save a traditional Japanese craft. I think it's super cool because there's not a lot of. Uh, it's really cool, right? Right? I mean, it all comes from wanting to upcycle the shoes because we, we often see recycling options for our clothes, but it's very difficult to do that with our shoes. So normally, once our shoes that's have true. a scuff, you know, especially white shoes, we have a stain, it's, it's kind of, that's it, right? You can't send them away and donate them. You can't turn them into something new. It normally just means you throw them straight in the dustbin and it becomes garbage. So all birds were trying to find a way to have their shoes kind of, have a new cycle of them and upcycle them into something. <laughs> and they are not only achieved that, but they did that in, in a way that also brings in the Japanese which is fantastic, right? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's going to be me? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. You get matching matching shoes and hands, right? Yeah, my I don't I don't think I need my hands to be this color anyways right now. I guess it's all okay. But uh, yeah, the the national flag, we were having a debate that the other national color or color that would be associated very strongly with Japan is called Shuiro. Shuiro is the is that orange red that you see at Fushimi Inari, the uh, 10,000 gates, the, the color of Inari, which is the, the god of the sun, which is important for harvesting rice. This orange color you see on, on all of the gates, it, there's a reason behind it because the, the sun is such an important uh, it, part of, of Japanese culture. Again, in the Hidomaru, the flag, of course, is a, is a sun uh, on there. The right. Sun, yeah. But they didn't pick that bright red orange, uh, Shuiro is what it's called S H U I R O. I, I think if you, if you Google it on YouTube, you might get the um, color code, the six digit color code for it. But the same is with, with the, uh, the blue that they use here for dyeing. Those two colors would have made it an interesting national flag, the indigo blue and the shuido color of the sun. I don't know what you guys think on that, but those two probably more associated with uh, Japan's uh, national identity than the red and the white. I wonder what the audience feel is like if they were to pick a color for Japan, like what color comes to mind? Right, yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, asking you, I, I can't put a poll in here because I'm actually running the live stream. But what do, you, what do you guys think in the comments? What, what, what's the one color that identifies Japan to you? I, I don't think blue would be one of them, though, for people what abroad. Would you have said up until today? Like I would have said Shuiro, actually, because I know the, the background, the color of the, the, the tori, like that, that bright red. Or maybe red from the Hinomaru. The, the, in the flag? Yeah, in the flag. People saying red. One person, turquoise. Spirited away writes pink. Really? <laughs> pink? <laughs> Everyone's writing in red. Marcus writes in cherry blossom colors. That's why pink. Oh, I got it. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Red like the Twitty Gates. My turn. Okay. Yeah. Let me just let me just show these these shoes here, just really quickly here. So you can see, wow. Okay. Okay, here you go. Anything I need to know? No. Just point. Uh, you can double tap that to take you back if you get lost. The tr trigger here. Okay. Double tap that. And then you can uh, see this here. 
if you if you do the, the this one, it'll give you an option to zoom in if you want. If you want to see your hands. Yeah. There he goes. Make sure, make sure to remember which side you started. Ah, okay. Right foot, <laughs> okay, starting with the right shoe. <laughs> you guys remember? I don't even. I'm nervous about this. Okay. It is ka. Okay, put. Ah! I was worried about that. <laughs> well, it feels like I'm washing something. It's pleasantly cool, but you get to really smell it now. Niyoi is gatsuyo, ne? The smell is strong when you put your face right into it. But right now, I'm kind of. Uh, getting the air out of it, um, rubbing the indigo into it. Um, there's the tongue of the shoe right now. I'm, I'm really. If you if you if you come up and you can uh, put the camera right into it, you can see I'm I'm getting the. Oh my gosh! It's already quite. Do you feel like texture in there? Like, is it just? Does it just feel like you're in water, or is there some? Oh, it feels. Lumps it feels like water. There's no lumps or anything in there that I can feel. If I, maybe if I, I reached all the way to the bottom, which would give me blue sleeves. <laughs> but it it just feels very cool. Your scream has been identified as the same from the Nikki Man Festival. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Wow, there you go. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, look at that. It's okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh wow. This is the left shoe and uh, wow, my hands are blue. We're forcing out some of the, the air bubbles here. I'm uh, kind of rubbing it in as well as there's some padding in the shoe. So by um, by kind of scrunching that, it gets the air out and then it brings the dye into it a little bit more. Getting into some of the holes that might not, uh, that the air bubbles might prevent it from hitting into. That's sort of one of the things I'm doing right now. But, oh, there's the label. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a really, it's, it's, it's cool, it's not cold, but it's a very pleasant feeling to have your hands into here. Feels like I'm, uh, I'm kneading dough, like pizza dough or something. Pizza is so expensive in Japan, so I started to make my own when I came here in 98. Ah, okay. I think we're going no, no shoelaces, right? Yeah. We're going to keep them the white? Shoelaces for the contrast. Okay. Okay, we're going to go shoelaces white. Lace <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People think you're very brave. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll see what they look like tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you have to get all of the air out of it. That's one of the reasons why we really scrunched it up. You got to get the air out because the air will prevent the dye from, from touching it the same way. You want to have a really even color. 
although it might be cool to have it look like a little bit of a tie dye, these are still shoes I want to wear out and wear around town. So I started with the Migi, yeah. Uh, this is the, the dye that's Kumo uh, seashells, uh, some ash. Afterwards, I could show you the ingredient list that maybe will de demystify this for you. Uh, which one did I start with, the left or the right one? You started with right. Right one? Okay, this one. No, that's the left one. Am I doing this right? Okay. こうやって絞るとああ。こんな感じ。こういう間とかもこう広げてあげると、しっかり全部青くなります。なるほど。そうそう。でも十分。あ、ここはね。うん、ここはもうグルーのやつ。この感じ。ここはね、もうあれ、何？グルー。あ、グルーですね。ノリ
It's like a, a ship sinking into the deep Atlantic. Oh. Boy, if these were size uh, 17s, we could call it the Titanic. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're just 10 and a half. It's so dark in there, isn't it? It's like you can't see even a centimeter. Yeah. Or right here it is. It's a centimeter closer. You can't see it until it's actually out of the dye. That's so thick. It's actually not thick. It, it's very watery, actually. But the, the color is very thick. So the, the length of time will determine how dark these actually end up becoming. But the, the, the great thing about this is that over time, I believe it, it'll get a little bit lighter and lighter, right? As, uh, or does, it, does the color lock in? Let's ask. That's a good question. Do you think it's a little bit a that's so it, you, you can wash it right if you double double tap the gimbal it'll turn around here. Yeah, there you go Yes, the, the, the color will get brighter, but if you wash it, apparently, it'll, it'll keep it here. Uh, yeah, it's it's Yeah, yeah, don't don't put them in the dryer. And maybe not wash them with other white shirts. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. That's what I asked, but I think This is so cool. Actually, Watanabe-san brought these up from Tokushima. It's Ototoi, Kokoni? Four days ago, he came in a, in a truck from Tokushima bringing all this with him. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, these are going to be dark. So I guess when you take it out and you redo it again, it, it gives it time to set a little bit, to dry just a little bit. And then when you put it back in there, it starts to get darker again. Um, I think if you were to keep the shoes in here for a long time, you could get them almost close to black. Uh, you could leave them in for days, in fact. OK, we, we start off with the right shoe. Oh, that is a deep, deep. Look at my fingernails. Eh? Kaminoke? You can yes. put your hair? Wow. Natural dye. Wow. <laughs> you can drink it, won't taste good, but you can also dye your hair with it, and it's organic. Who wants to see John put his head in the book? Wait a minute now, that's not part of the bargain. Soka. But if you put your hair. Ah, I see, I see. So we would dye your skin as well, of course. The other dyes don't do that. But
but then it lasts for only about two weeks, and then eventually uh, you have to re-diet again. But it's all organic and healthy, so I mean, could you walk around with half of a blue head? Why not? That could be a style. I think we're there. Yeah. I think we're there. Ah, uh, that's true. If you were to wear gloves, see, it, it'd be harder for you to feel with it. I'm, yeah, I, I can feel the fabric. I can feel the, you know, the materials inside of here, which is also important for making sure you you hit all of the different places. The nooks and crannies, so you don't have some on, some off coloring. Oh, thank you. I think you have said you want to get rid of the gray hair a lot. I can't even touch my hat to show you. It's it's like more than half white now. And uh, people are asking about the, the price to, to take part in the show. If they wanted to try it. I think it was three thousand five hundred yen, right? About twenty dollars. Yeah. Which is uh, in, um, subsidized by all birds when you do it here in the shop. The next time they do it is going to be in the fall. So if you just happen to be in Japan at this time, you might want to uh, come, come back home with an original colored all bird sneakers dyed with Japan's traditional indigo brought from Tokushima by truck. Ten hours because of traffic. <laughs> it usually takes about seven. Oh wow, okay, the next. Oh, well done, mate. Yeah, there you go. So this is what it looks like uh, afterwards. So we have, I, I like that light blue color of the, this and then afterwards we can, I guess we can wash it out with the, the blue here. All right. Okay. Ate? All right. Yeah, I feel like one more shot of it. Just look at this. It's pretty crazy um, how dark blue this has become. But it, this is pretty cool. <laughs> We're going to find out. All right, let's do it. They said it'll come off in a day or so. I think they might have been joking. <laughs> Why were they laughing when they said that? <laughs> but the fingernails will take a couple of. Watching my days, it's ever gonna come up. Ever? Hey, I voted. <laughs> Isn't this what they did? When you vote, you stick your hand in indigo or dye. All right. Well, wait a second here. That's not. That's not exactly. Does anyone have some lava? Does anyone have some lava soap? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Um, yeah, that's not changed so much. That's not what I bargained for here. Uh, well, they, I did have a choice to wear the gloves. This was my choice. Boy, Kanai's gonna be really curious tonight. Hold on, I'm gonna have to. Will she be okay with you having dinner? Does she have a choice? <laughs> it's wonderful. I missed some spots here. <laughs> This is just the calluses. Look at this. My callus is here. They didn't wow. get dyed. That's pretty crazy. I had. I have to. Um, from working out. Yeah. From from working out and uh, you know, I guess hammer and stuff. Editing. My 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 mouse clicking finger. 
Seriously, no lava? No one has any lava? Really? Ah, arigato. This used to be also white. So that's after I've washed it. Um, dun, 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 so, so they think dun, dun. it's going to be like 48 hours until the skin loses the blue, and then a week maybe until the nails. A 48 hours? I could live with that. Yeah. Yeah, good. It's it's. Uh, hi. Wow, the orange looks good. This one was orange, is it? Orange. This one was the orange one. I think it's going to be kind of. Look at the laces turned to brown. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. So now the, this is the national, the traditional color of a Japan. That indigo blue. And. Uh, Ah, hi. <laughs> I said, oh, these are mine here. They're going to get a, a good washing. Oh my gosh, they look great. They're going to get lighter as it dries. Um, for this campaign, we're just doing shoes. They used to be able to do like like clothing and stuff, right? But you can. Uh, I but think if, if it's as long as it's an Uber product, you can die. Yeah, for here because they're subsidizing the cost of it. But you know, one of the reasons to go to t Tokushima might be just to dye their dye old clothes that you could bring from Jap from home, bring it to Japan, and you can give your T-shirts and all your other stuff a second a second uh, boost. And yeah, for this event, it's just two days. Usually, I think they're doing it for four days. Wow, kanso wa mo mochiron no ni ichi jikan gore ichi ga ichi ni ichi ni gore. Yekattara hai. Ah. 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 Yeah, Should but homework. Homework. Home, homework. Yeah. homework. Ow. All right. So let it dry, then wash it again, then let it dry. You might even do it again. And then okay. he'll explain to us. What's the most interesting thing that somebody has done? What's the most interesting thing that's been dyed? Hell. <laughs> Wait, how do you dye your hair? You dip it in? Yeah, dip it in. Dip, I dip it in? And you'd have a, like the, the somebody else would be kind of kneading yeah, it like this. Stuff. His uh, hair is like a bleach veil. So try, she tried it. Yeah, oh, I see a lot of people coming to Japan, uh, foreigners with blue hair. They should be using indigo. They should. Yeah. This is the, uh, what's that character, the anime character with the blue hair? It sounds like somebody out of Dragon Ball Z. No, Chigao. It was. Evangelion. Uh, Chigao. Uh, it's a decade. There's a, the blue haired. My copyright Nashi character is in I forget. There's a character with blue hair that uh, somebody will somebody in the live stream will I you can become that. Yeah, I covered I covered this in twenty thirteen actually. Well, I get a word jeans now. Wow. Oh, you could dye wood? You could dye wood. 
か天然素材ナチュラルマテリアルね。Um, it's going to dry out, and、uh, I, I got to take it home and then to wash it again.、Um, but、uh, yeah. It's been a pretty interesting experience.、Uh, anything else that we should add about this experience? I think whenever you come to Japan, it's really cool to do stuff, to do traditional stuff. And it's kind of cool that I'm in central Tokyo and we're actually doing traditional dai. If, if I walk around the city of Tokyo、uh, waving at people, I, I might freak them out a little bit. But. Yeah, I think you've got yourself a pretty unique and、uh, neat item to take on, right? Like, it's、yeah. not just a pair of sneakers. I mean, they're, they're a good pair of sneakers, but like, only you have this pair of sneakers.、Right? Sure, imagine if you, you bring back a gift, a gift from Japan and they, they said, okay, well, actually, I hand dyed this.、Yeah. It makes it pretty special. I got, I got some t shirts from you know, Uniqlo or something, one of the other shops, and、uh, I dyed it this indigo blue in Japan. That's kind of special then. It turns something that wouldn't be special into something that's very special. Yeah, very cool in that. And then the, the last thing I think I want to talk to you guys about is why here in Modern Uchi. Now they closed down the street, they've already started at Dean、um, on the weekends, so you can walk around. This is a kind of a unique street. You can see there's some people sitting outside uh, uh, enjoying lunch. But th this used to be a place with lots of office buildings, uh, uh, banks, uh, office workers. It wasn't really a, in, an interesting area, but they found a way to renew it,、mm. to, to bring businesses back into it by doing things like this. And this is another reason why I think that really fits what Albert is, Albers is doing with、uh, making renewable products. They made this area of Tokyo renewable. And that's kind of neat.、Uh, you see some of the older office buildings, but a lot of the newer ones in, they've got the solar panels, they've got uh, uh, roofs that have green parks on the, roof, on the top of them, which naturally keeps the buildings cooler in the summer, but also grows stuff on the top there, which is really interesting. And that's sort of the modern Ouchi's、uh, image, which just changes to the backside of Tokyo Station, very close to Ginza. Oh, this is the homework. Ah, the guys you asked. I don't know. That's the products. You might want to ask what to do. Coconut to do. I know you guys need a child. I could do you save it. It's just the mass. But I don't go. Child got on the bed. Ah, so they all. Not a big talk. I get it all. Kidding. I would like to know. Right. So there's five steps that's important here. Soak the product in 40 degree, uh, uh, fairly warm water. Let it sit for 20 minutes. This is、uh, half of what boiling water is, so it's not, it's not hot, it's, it's warm. When the lye is, is released, the water turns a yellowish brown color. If they're in excess、uh, indigo residue, the water will turn blue too. Wash in cold water two or three times, changing the water. Remove the shoes and let it dry in the shade. Repeat the steps one to four twice. So,、oh, two more times I have to wash this out in, in warm water. Like, o f u r o it's m o o r e 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. So, o f u r o it's more than 40 degrees. Yeah. It's a little bit of 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 a little bit I got blue fingers here. What the name is? Thank you very much. It was a great experience. Nice. Yeah. 
I did that. I, I, I don't think I need my hand. Do I need these hands? I don't think so. Okay. But I hope that this is informational and entertaining for you as well. You learned something new about the color of uh, Japan's national color comes from indigo. They've been using this color samurai for war. Uh, for that kachi, the winning color, which is what they like for since the Sengoku period, which is like going back to like the, the 13th century in Japan. So historically, Japan has had um, this blue color as part of their national identity for a very long time. It's not on the national flag. It's not even in the poll, something that we associate with Japan, but it very much is Japanese. And uh, Tokushima is the area that is uh, very famous for it. It's a beautiful place. Awa Odori is the uh, festival that takes place in Tokushima in the summer, but if you go any time of the year, there are places where you can go and also try this out, as well as Watanabe-san's uh, uh, place down in Tokushima. Yeah, I'll write the link in the description if you're interested in all of this. And a very warm thank you to Allbirds for in inviting me here to dye my shoes and to reuse white shoes that I only used for a month, but that was not the purpose. It's, it, there's so many reasons why I wanted to do this, and I'm appreciative of that. Thank you, everybody. Matane. There's Dean. The big smile. <laughs> Matane. Thanks, guys.